Yo, what is up? It's your boy AM coming to you with a video blog. <sighs> this is a bit of a sad one. Unfortunately, we got into a car accident yesterday and we're driving into work early in the morning. It was probably about 7, 10, 7, 15. We were commuting to downtown Portland and we were on the I-5 when all of a sudden when we're switching lanes, the car in front of us stopped short and we rear-ended this Toyota Highlander, it was a silver vehicle. And we smashed into it pretty hard. We drive this black Kia Sportage and when we rear in the vehicle, we like smashed up the front of our vehicle. And I'll post some pictures on this video so you can see what it looks like. But it was, it was pretty shocking to say the least. I've never been in a car accident. Like one time I was, I, I had been in an accident. I was um, in a bus and it was for work. We're taking a tour of Portland and the history behind Portland in regards to race. And what ended up happening was the bus hit a vehicle who ran red light or ran our stop sign. But I was in the back of the bus so I didn't feel anything. They just said, oh, we got in a car accident. And then that was it. This was like the first time that I've actually been in like a full on car accident. And um, PM was driving at the time. And I was on my phone, I was looking at the emails and then all of a sudden I heard her say, oh crap. And then she looked up. Well, I looked up and then smashed right into the back of the Toyota Highlander. And we kind of hit him pretty hard. I don't know how fast exactly we were going, but it was like crunch time. And so then when we hit the car, the car drove off to the side, made it, cause we were like in the, kind of like in the middle lane cause we're trying to get over onto the right hand side so we can get off the exit and get onto the bridge. But when we got into the other lane, which is kind of in the middle lane, the car stopped short and that's when we hit the back of it. And then well, that we, we hit put emergency brakes on the car pulled off and then what ended up, ended up happening was that our car wasn't able to start so that was kind of crazy so we tried to turn it on and stuff but it was just did not go so I had to call 911 and then they sent ODOT out to help us and so ODOT is you know Oregon Department of Transportation and what they did is they had like a little truck that had a sign on it but then the guy in the car just bumped into us and was like, okay, we're gonna get you to the road. Since you can't get off yourself, we're gonna assist you. So he just like pushed us with his back over the car and then we just rolled right off into the to the shoulder. And then there he kind of talked to us about what we needed to do, contact insurance. Um, we don't need to file a police report because that's in Oregon, you don't need to do so, which is interesting, we didn't know about that. And then we had to call a tow truck so we could take it to our auto body shop. So what ended up happening, we called um, our insurance company and then they recommended a tow place and an auto shop that we can take the vehicle to so they can fix it. And But then it was rush hour so the it was kind of hard to get a tow truck out there in time for us to, to, to get us off the road because it was like backed up and we were probably like the cause of it so <laughs> it was kind of crazy. But it took about like an hour for the tow truck to get out, but I also called some friends. Shout out to CS and GS for helping us out. They were able to pick us up off the side of the road and take us back to our place. We're a two car family, so you know, having one car out of commission, uh, it's not gonna put too much of a strain on us, but it, it, was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, the person that we um, rear-ended, they, I guess they had previous um, back issues and so it didn't help that we smacked them in the back so then they had to be transported off in, a, in an ambulance for precaution but but you know we spoke to the, the friends and parties that were involved and they said that they should, they should be okay and so we're glad about that that there no harm was you know no extensive damage was done to them personally but it's just kind of sad that they had to that that had to happen to them uh, their vehicle wasn't as in bad shape as ours. Ours was like pretty bad compared to theirs. They didn't look like they have a dent on the back of their vehicle. So I was kind of lucky of them. But yeah, it was kind of a scary thing. 
Uh, we were able to fix everything up in time to be able to go to work today, which was which was pretty cool. But you know, sometimes in life, you are given lemons and you have to make a lemonade out of it. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna make lemonade out of this situation, but luckily for us, we're gonna keep on trucking, keep on doing what we need to do. 2020 is not looking like a good year, but we can always go up. So we always have to have fortitude to continue on and let this set back interfere with our goals and dreams and am, uh, what do you say it? admiration? No, aspirations. Yes. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure that 2020 is the best year, even though it started off kind of rocky. But I am thankful that none of us got hurt and we're okay. Uh, went to work today, like I said, and was able to kind of put the incident behind us. Um, right now, we just got to finish up with uh, the insurance stuff and then also making sure the car gets fixed. And then other than that, we're ready to roll and maybe go on some adventures this summer. So we're excited. Hopefully, our poor Vader um, runs like new again. Prayers like a kitten. We don't want it to be all faulty because of the accident that we had. We have a lot of ventures to go on, and hopefully, Vader, which is the name of the name of our car, because it's black, and then interior, all the lights and stuff's all red. So that's why we call it Vader. Um, gets rebuilt. It's an app name for the car because Vader's jacked up. <laughs> our car's all jacked up now too. Maybe we should never name it that. We should name it something cooler, but maybe like Kit. But that's another story for another time. So if you like what you see, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Well, just hit the thumbs up button because of what we went through, man. We like to, we like, we like to, we like to, to have the thumbs up button make us feel better. Uh, other than that, stay tuned for more cool adventures headed our way. Hopefully, no more sad announcements like these. Peace.